Despite the vast amount of knowledge we've acquired throughout the years, there are still a lot of things we don't know about our past. And even today, we continue to discover relics and artifacts left behind by our predecessors. Several of them stood the test of time, and archaeologists continue to uncover them. Archaeological discoveries may shed some light on the past, but it also opens a gateway to never-ending questions that leave archaeologists and researchers puzzled. From the corpses near Stonehenge to the cave of Altamira, here are the 15 most mysterious things discovered by archaeologists. Number 15. Corpses near the Stonehenge The Stonehenge is one of the most iconic and most well-known archaeological discoveries in the world. This huge man-made circle of standing stones is located in England's Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, and it continues to be one of the most mysterious archaeological sites. Just when we thought that we found all there is in Stonehenge, British archaeologists located two ancient graves near the site. They discovered the grave of a young woman and another set of bones which astonishingly belonged to a baby. The woman is estimated to be in her 20s or 30s when she died, and both of their remains are roughly 4,500 years old, which is about the same age as the blue stones that make up Stonehenge's inner circle. Considering the age of the stones, it's highly possible that the two might be distant relatives of the people who created Stonehenge. Archaeologists theorized that the two might have been part of the Beaker culture, a group that lived in Europe between about 4,000 and 5,000 years ago. Due to the discovery, an 18-month survey was planned around the grave to hunt for any more archaeological discoveries around the area. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. The Golden Tongue Ever since archaeologists discovered the tombs of the pharaohs in Egypt, it's no surprise to find gold and treasures buried along with mummies. Several sarcophagi are made out of gold, and some tombs are surrounded with precious stones. This archaeological discovery is quite special, because instead of golden sarcophagi, archaeologists found mummies with golden tongues instead. These gold tongues were discovered at Alexandria's Taposiris Magna Temple in northern Egypt. Although the mummies were all poorly preserved, the gold foil amulets shaped like tongues were as good as ever. According to researchers, the practice might have originated with the belief that putting gold foil amulets shaped like tongues would make the dead be able to speak before the court of the god Osiris, the ruler of the dead and the underworld. Archaeologists hypothesize maybe the deceased had a speech impediment when they were still alive, which required them to have these golden tongues. Furthermore, we still don't know why the tongues are specifically made of gold. The people back then may just have chosen the most accessible material, or perhaps gold had more symbolism for them. Who knows? All we know is that these mummies must have been special when they were still alive. Number 13. Roman Slave Quarters in Pompeii If you like reading and watching about history and archaeology, then you probably already know about the preserved city of Pompeii. This ancient Roman city is located in Campania, Italy, about 14 miles southeast of Naples. It's located at the base of Mount Vesuvius, which caused the city to cease into ruins. On exactly April 24, 79 CE, Mount Vesuvius raged and covered the ancient city with volcanic debris. It wasn't long before the whole city was covered with ash and pumice. Today, the same volcano that destroyed the city caused it to be preserved and frozen in time. Archaeologists already discovered a lot of things in Pompeii, but recently they discovered yet another remnant of the Romans that once lived in the city. A few rooms were discovered by archaeologists, and they were none other than slave quarters. The room had three beds, a chest filled with fabric, and some objects used to take care of horses. This is a very important discovery because slaves are rarely mentioned in the written historical records of the ancient city. We still don't know much about the people that once resided in this home. But if this wasn't discovered, we would know even less about this group of people. Number 12. San Xingdui Statue San Xingdui is a city found on the banks of the Yazi River, and in this location, people found these exceptional masks. These masks usually have exaggerated facial features like big ears and sometimes huge protruding eyes. It looks bizarre, but I guess it symbolized something for the people back then. Today, we still don't know who they're made for or who was the inspiration for their appearance. 
Some scholars believe that they're made after the leaders at the time, but some also suggest that perhaps they've been modeled after people that belong to a different race or identity. But there's no evidence to prove that this assumption is true. Even though they're called masks, these artifacts are too heavy and too big to be worn on the face. Most are one meter wide, and each has square-shaped holes on each side, which suggests it might have been used as decor in a huge structure like a pillar. 57 of these statues have been excavated from Sangxingdui, and four of them were more extravagant and luxurious than the others, which gave the idea that perhaps they were owned by very wealthy and powerful people. What do you think these so-called masks were used for? Make sure to let me know about your theories in the comments. Number 11. Moai Statues You've probably seen these statues before. You might not be aware of their name, but you've probably seen them in movies, games, or other media. The Moai statues are located in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, in what is deemed to be one of the most enigmatic islands in the world, Easter Island. To this day, we still don't know how the first humans reached the island. We also still don't know how the islanders managed to create these human heads and torso statues known as Moai. These huge stone monoliths have stood over the island for hundreds of years, and they remain to be a source of mystery. Imagine how hard the ancient Rapa Nui carvers worked to create nearly 1,000 of these statues. We've only found about 887 of these massive statues, but archaeologists believe that there are more around the island. People back then considered these statues extremely essential because they ensured that the harvest would be a bountiful one. These statues are carved from volcanic rock, and most of them have a staggering weight of 80 tons. Their height is also impressive, with many standing at about 32 feet. The largest Moai statue weighs around 150 tons and has double the height of the other statues standing at around 65 feet. We still don't know how the early settlers managed to carve and transport these statues around the island. The Rapa Nui civilization didn't leave any written records, and they're known as a group that widely used oral tradition to pass on their beliefs. Perhaps one day we'll finally learn the real reason why the Rapa Nui civilization exerted so much of their efforts to cover Easter Island with these curious statues. Number 10. Royal Burial 34,000 years ago, a group of hunters buried their two boys with the most luxurious preparations. What's more is that the two boys were found with physical conditions or disabilities. Their remains were found on the Sunghir burial grounds located on the northeast outskirts of Vladimir, Russia. Based on their remains, one of the boys was bedridden, with teeth that had been barely used. This may not sound like a big deal for us, but back then everyone was expected to have worn teeth due to their way of living. The two boys were only the tender ages of 10 and 12 years old at the time they perished, and their graves were filled with treasure unlike any other. Inside their graves were more than 10,000 mammoth ivory beads, more than 20 armbands, more than 300 pierced fox teeth, 15 ivory mammoth spears, carved artwork, and deer antlers. This probably cannot be compared to the riches found in the tombs of the pharaoh, but considering the age of this grave, these treasures are considered to be as precious as gold. Aside from the various riches found in the grave, there are also two human calves found across the boys' chests. This discovery is already amazing on its own, but archaeologists also found the remains of a man that's roughly 40 years old. And yet, unlike the luxurious and royal burial of the two kids, the grave of the man had fewer treasures. Inside, they found about 3,000 mammoth ivory beads, 12 pierced fox canines, 25 mammoth ivory armbands, and a single stone pendant. Through this discovery, archaeologists were given the idea that people that once settled near the Sung here buried their dead in different ways. In fact, other graves found on the site didn't have anything with them. Even so, it's astounding that in that day and age, people with disabilities and pathologies had amazing and royalty-like treatment. Number 9. Feline Geoglyph We all know that ancient Egyptians treated felines as one of the vessels of their gods. Cats in ancient Egypt were treated with respect, and there are even some statues created in their likeness. Did you know that among the Nazca lines in Peru lies this amazing geoglyph? This is the feline Nazca line, and this figure is believed to have been created between 200 BC and 100 BC. 
Archaeologists recently discovered this adorable geoglyph during one of their efforts to improve access to one of the hills that provides a great view to many of the designs. Not only did they succeed in clearing a new vantage point, but they also discovered an all-new pattern. When it was found by archaeologists, this geoglyph was barely visible. Luckily, it was uncovered in time for it to be cleaned and preserved. It's amazing to think that even back then they saw their pet cats as sweet and silly, and this geoglyph perfectly captured how goofy and adorable they are. This cat line is about 37 meters long, and it's believed that there are more designs just like this waiting to be found across the site. I wonder what animal they'll find next. Number 8. Oldest Chinese Sculpture You're probably wondering what the oldest Chinese sculpture is. You might think it would be an ancient dragon statue, but actually, the oldest Chinese sculpture is none other than this tiny, unassuming bird statue. Known as the Lingjing Bird Statuette, this tiny figurine is only about 19 millimeters long, and it's estimated to be about 13,500 years old, making it the oldest sculpture ever found. It's incredibly fortunate that the statuette was discovered in a very pristine condition, and so researchers were easily able to determine the material from which it was carved. The statue was carved from the bone of a mammal, and it was formed through scraping, gouging, making abrasions, and incisions. It looks less refined and detailed on its body, but you can see that whoever carved the statuette showed more attention to the beak and eye of the bird. This archaeological discovery may be tiny, but this was a big contribution to our understanding of our ancestors. Perhaps art has been ingrained in our ancestors all along. Number 7. Mysterious Mummy Technology nowadays really is incredible. Recently, researchers in Egypt managed to unwrap the mummy of Amenhotep I without actually unwrapping it. Instead of physically unwrapping the mummy and risking its preservation, researchers digitally unwrapped it instead. They discovered amazing information about the pharaoh without disturbing the actual mummy. After performing an x-ray and computerized tomography on the mummy, the researchers managed to create a 3D image of what the mummy looked like on the inside. Amenhotep I ruled ancient Egypt from 1525 to 1504 BCE. At the time, Amenhotep waged war with Nubia and expanded Egypt's borders. He led Egypt to victory and built several mines and temples, including a shrine to the god Amun at Karnak. Based on his remains, Amenhotep I was about 35 years old at the time of his death. And what's surprising is that they found no obvious signs of injuries or disease that indicated the cause of his death. Virtually, Amenhotep I was a perfectly healthy 35-year-old man. Despite being honored, Amenhotep I's cause of death is still not known by archaeologists. Perhaps through advanced technology, we will soon learn more about the great kings that once ruled Egypt. Number 6. The Hobbits You probably know what the term hobbit entails. Hobbits are tiny fictional humans that often live in tiny houses. After an excavation on the Lingboa Cave on Flores Island in Indonesia, there's now a possibility that hobbits actually did exist. The excavation happened in 2003 when researchers started excavating a limestone cave on the island. There, they found bones estimated to be 18,000 years old. But their age is not the only incredible thing about this discovery. Its skull was less than one-third the size of the skull of an average adult. After analyzing the skull, researchers found that the bone may have belonged to an ancient human that we still don't know about. The archaeologists discovered as many as nine remains in the area, all of which belong to a species about a yard tall. They have been collectively called the Hobbits of Flores, and ever since their discovery, Researchers and scientists have been scratching their heads trying to discover what exactly these creatures are and how they survived thousands of years ago. Number 5. Mysterious Moa of Mount Owen About three decades ago, a group of archaeologists stumbled upon the most interesting and mysterious discovery of their lives when they went on an expedition inside a large cave in Mount Owen, New Zealand. What they found was a lone claw of what appeared to be a huge bird. There was little visibility inside the cave, and by the looks of it, they thought that what lay before them were the claws of an animal that died just recently. After careful analysis, they found out that the mysterious claw is a very well-preserved body part of an upland moa, a large and predatory bird that disappeared centuries earlier. 
The moa was endemic to New Zealand, and they first appeared around 18.5 million years ago. But because of rapid changes in their habitat, they rapidly ceased to exist. The moa stood about 10 feet tall, making it the largest bird on the planet when it was still alive. With the discovery of the well-preserved claw of the moa, researchers are now looking into cloning it in the future. Perhaps in time, we'll be able to bring these prehistoric birds back to life. And now it's time for today's topic. There have been a lot of interesting archaeological discoveries in recent years, and we continue to unravel artifacts and relics left behind by our ancestors. But is it really all right for us to uncover what's already buried by sand and stone? When the tomb of King Tutankhamun was first discovered, the whole world braced itself for the curse of the pharaoh. And when one of the explorers that found the tomb perished, many people started to believe that we shouldn't disturb the resting places of the deceased kings of the fallen ancient civilization of Egypt. It's believed that most relics and artifacts may have curses imbued in them, and if anyone dares to take them away from their original places, the unlucky person will suffer a tragic fate. In this photo, it looked like they discovered another statue of a pharaoh. If the curse of the pharaohs is true, then perhaps these archaeologists discovered what no one was supposed to see. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Cleopatra's Tomb Most of us know Queen Cleopatra of Egypt. She is one of the most well-known and successful queens in ancient human history. She was said to be a highly intelligent woman, and she was claimed to be in different aspects ahead of her time. Most books depicted her as an intelligent, fierce, and incredibly beautiful queen. She was seen as a smart woman that could seduce any man that she wanted. It sounds as if some claims regarding her are exaggerated, but it is true that Queen Cleopatra was indeed one of Egypt's most successful and prominent leaders. Although most historians today are claiming that she wasn't the most beautiful woman that walked the lands of ancient Egypt, the fact that she was an incredible ruler doesn't change. Records of her have been translated and retold many times. We know that she learned how to speak multiple languages at a young age, including Greek and Egyptian. We know that she has Greek ancestry, even though she was born in Egypt. And we know that she learned the harp and the flute perfectly. And yet, still today, we still don't know where her tomb is located. Cleopatra's final resting place is her most mysterious and well-kept secret. Her tomb has been lost for more than 2,000 years. It's incredible to imagine just what preparations the Egyptians did for the last queen of Egypt's tomb. After being the lover of Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, Cleopatra took her own life after being captured by the Roman Emperor Octavian. Perhaps, after ending her life, Cleopatra in her last breath was determined for the Romans to never find her tomb. The chances might be low, but if we do ever find Cleopatra, it will be the next find of a lifetime. Number 3. Terracotta Warriors The discovery of the Terracotta Army is one of the most baffling archaeological discoveries in the entire world. Just imagine excavating a site and discovering thousands of life-sized terracotta soldiers each frozen in time. The terracotta warriors were first discovered in March 1974 by a group of peasants digging a well in the Shanxi province of China. As the archaeologists excavated the site, they found a staggering 8,000 life-size soldiers guarding the burial site of China's first emperor. Imagine the amount of time and effort it took to create these statues. Each one of them has its own face, and the amount of detail in each one shows that the workers paid attention to the tiniest detail of the soldiers. Perhaps even in death, the emperor wanted to make sure that he would be safe and protected. Number 2. Richard III Richard III is a Plantagenet king who was killed at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. He is most known for being accused of murdering his nephews just to protect his throne, which he sadly only got to keep for two years. His tomb had been the subject of many archaeologists until 2012, when they found a skeleton under a car park in the city of Leicester. Who would have known that after analysis and research, the skeleton would be proven to be none other than Richard III? The state of his grave suggests how much respect he had when he was buried. It was incredibly small, and his skeleton was found in an awkward position. Other medieval graves around the area have been found to be neat and of appropriate size, 
And yet, for Richard III, the whole grave was poorly done. There is no explanation as to why this occurred, but it is likely that he was indeed buried in a hurry. Number 1. Cave of Altamira The Cave of Altamira is located in Santillana del Mar in Spain. The whole cave is about 3,300 feet long, and it has a system of chambers and passages inside. Archaeologists discovered paintings and charcoal drawings of the local fauna. These symbols and pictures were drawn by our ancestors that lived thousands of years ago. Archaeologists are still unsure about the drawing's exact age. According to uranium thorium dating, there's a possibility that the symbols are about 20,000 years old. But one drawing of the steppe bison that became extinct 30,000 years ago could mean that some of the paintings are much older. The cave has been closed for preservation, but a replica has been created for people to appreciate. If you're curious to see it, you can find the replica of the Cave of Altamira in Madrid and Munich. Which of these archaeological discoveries intrigued you the most? And do you know of any other mind-boggling archaeological discoveries? Let us know about them in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.